Hello people and welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. I'm extremely excited. Every single study that I'm conducting is pointing towards exciting and some very dark news as well. Exciting in terms that it will provide the year 2024 will provide some enormous enormous opportunities. Something that we can actually uh, look into the past history and we see that okay in some circumstances we haven't seen the magnitude of the loss that we're gonna see in 2024 especially in the stock market in gold and silver market in crypto market we are I've already posted one video about crypto market and I'll revisit that video and I'm making a whole series about the crash of everything and the only one thing that's actually pointing towards a bullish trend is US dollar and against US dollar every forex currency is going to fall all right so 2024 is going to be extremely bearish uh, for stock market for gold and silver market for crypto market every single one of them is following different um, Elliott wave pattern so definitely uh, we can't just they are different markets we can't just paint a simple uh, we can't with pinpoint accuracy you can't say that all of them are moving together but as a whole as a generic trend 2024 is going to be the most bearish year that we have ever seen in almost a hundred years history and that we have uh, in front of us 120 years 130 years of stock market history extremely volatile extremely volatile conditions are going to happen however we are going to discuss them in the future I'll uh, I'm working on it and I'm, I'm exploring a lot of data and uh, um, a lot of it will come out as a as an analysis and a forecast right in front of us is gold chart we are going to discuss gold and silver uh, there is good news and bad news on a smaller time frame we are going to discuss the daily time frame and the hourly time frame so um, in my previous analysis we st I stated that there's a huge possibility uh, that we were going to see side wave price action during Christmas and uh, not anymore the reason is because we have seen a very very important the price has uh, completed very um, important uh, price target we were I was expecting that okay it won't go and attempt and first one uh, it uh, instead it will go up and come down and make a second or third attempt to complete the target however it did so by completing uh, an ending diagonal all right so we do have a clearly ending diagonal you want to look into it or not uh, that's your behavior but I'm clearly seeing this pattern the whole pattern that actually started from over here is a uh, wave A a 5 wave pattern and we have wave B a 3 wave pattern and we have wave C an ending diagonal and we can go and uh, let me have a look and we can see it that this is probably minute level okay so this is the pattern that I'm looking at we have almost uh, we have received the price target and the price target I'm saying is that if you simply go and you're wondering what why is that price actually has stayed there so you, all you got to do is just drop this all right so we have completed uh, a very famous uh, price level uh, from time to time um, we can see that from uh, historic points that a lot of time 50% uh, is very very important support level this is not exactly 50% we have division uh, got the nine division of the previous uh, price a drop and then we have seen and the price gone up by five division so five by nine is the is, is very important uh, constant especially in terms of corrections so there is a huge possibility that we are going to uh, start seeing prices drop and we'll discuss this pattern where can we get the correction let me get this thread off so during the Christmas not any more the side wave behavior I'm expecting a bearish behavior right now uh, first of all let's have a look I'm expecting a bearish behavior can we get a confirmation definitely definitely we have a very simple tool available to us that can actually confirm uh, the analysis let's have a look and the analysis is this okay look at the previous top right one over here okay this is very important in terms of small time frame analysis and prices has gone up right over here and they have reversed already on Friday and then they'll start entering into the territory as soon as the price drops below 20, 2048 that will be a confirmation that we can use this top right over here 
all right that's almost like turning dollars away from this uh, this the previous top right over here so this is going to bring a confirmation and we can clearly see an ending diagonal uh, first zigzag correction second zigzag correction um, and an elongated wave we have double zigzag in wave 3 so I'm looking at it as an ending diagonal and let's have a quickly uh, we can label it quickly right over here right over here <coughs> Excuse me. So this is the pattern that I'm looking into. I'm bearish on gold and silver prices have completed the price target beforehand I was expecting that during the Christmas period once the the price uh, we are gonna stay move the side waves but that's not gonna happen the immediate price action right now is bearish on gold and silver both uh, let's have a look at our time frame and we can so what does that mean that means the next swing is going to be this one we can still use we can still keep in mind in case the price is gonna go side waves very less chances but we'll still in case price comes down and find a resistance right over here that would indicate once again that okay we have to look uh, relook at that at the data as well so but most likely most likely we have completed the top over here okay and that's why we are bearish on gold and silver right now and I believe that we have completed this wave one and this wave two alright and we are more bearish on um, on on this side and then a jump is expected I'm expecting kind of of uh, too too early to say all right let's first of all look into this and then we'll uh, see how the correction is going to happen but i'm bearish on gold and silver 2024 is uh, all the data that i'm more and more the time i'm spending on gold and silver and stock market and crypto us dollar and forex currencies every single thing is pointing uh, towards uh, a 2024 being a very very important bearish year strongly bearish a lot of people will come to very harsh reality and uh, that strong market cannot just keep on making money in the cloud all right so a large huge correction is expected i'm going to sh um in in a day or two i'm going to post the analysis and i'll have to, i'll also have to uh, update the crypto analysis as well i'm bearish on crypto um, but we'll we'll uh, kind of fine tune it a, a little more and then we have done in the previous video so the crash of everything series um uh, I'm going to discuss gold, silver, crypto, and stock market as well. Uh, we'll, we'll try to bring in forex currencies as well. Uh, but this is gold and silver. Uh, once again, if if you think that you uh, just simply uh, put labels on on data is not Elliott wave analysis, just A, B, C, one, two, three, four, five. This is not Elliott wave analysis. You have to go way beyond that. A lot of calculations are made, uh, a lot of support and resistance studies goes in and you start from the very smallest uh, wave degree to the very largest wave degree. When you bring it together, that point you can say, okay, now I have more and more data and all of these waves are coming together. Um, so a lot of time is needed. It just simply not cannot put that, uh, the label on the, on the data and call it Elliott Wave Analysis. Um, I think we are way past that now. Let's have a look at silver and see how silver has been behaving. So we have seen uh, silver react a little more uh, strongly as compared to gold. All right. So once again, we were expecting that okay, uh, silver is going to continue this behavior right over here. With the price has gone right uh, all the way on the top, uh, I believe that we are bearish right now. So let's have a look uh, how much. Let's see how much of the um, silver drop has been so this is clearly uh, we can clearly see that the the price action is a little different uh, especially in terms of support and resistance is different as compared to what we have seen right over here so the first resistance is right around at 50 percent of the previous swing so this is the previous swing instead of doing nine divisions first we check for eight divisions so we have done eight division then we find resistance at 50 percent and then we see a yeah, correction right coming and uh, we, we see a nice support area and then we can see that the price has gone up to 62.5 percent and then price have reversed back and we I can also see the previous top price have kind of come down into that territory so we can use the previous top right now this one 
uh, for our stop loss because prices has come down and um, broken below the previous high this is also going to confirm that our analysis on gold is also right um, but for in terms of price we have to wait for uh, the exact um, uh, e each of them individually so let's have a look at a 15 minute chart maybe we can spot something and I just want to see maybe we can spot something that we haven't done so earlier so uh, another thing that we spot on is uh, the diagonal support is clearly broken alright so the diagonal support is clearly broken and we can also see uh, that price has gone up and retested it so maybe it's gonna go come up and retest again but we cannot 100 percent rely on it alright the fact of the matter is that we uh, can use this as a give you a moment come on uncheck it okay all right let's bring another let's use this top exact top right over here and we can see that the price have dropped through it and retested the horizontal support as well all right horizontal resistance as well so is price is going to go up and come retest it i'm not going to bet on it but i'm looking at the prices and i'm thinking that okay price is bearish in gold and silver right now so all of you are expecting kind of that behavior to go in side waves right come down over here jump over here we are more bearish as compared to side wave right now but once again we'll keep an eye on the market and see how the market actually reacts around this area so nothing special has changed uh, price just went a little more deeper uh, and uh, we were expecting finally to reach it there instead it has gone from this bottom to the over there all right so instead you were expecting kind of it will come down instead it went up a bit and we can see right now that there's a huge possibility that we have already seen the target of the larger correction as well so I'm bearish on gold and silver the immediate drop um, in the next few days is bearish uh, for gold and silver and then once again we'll keep a close eye how the price is react in this area I hope that I was of some assistance uh, once again if you want to be an analyst you have to spend a lot of uh, time analyzing the chart it's not simply one two three four five uh, okay um, you have to put more time in Elliott wave analysis if you want to be an analyst uh, you might want to dig deeper into multi degree analysis and then trying to bring it together it kind of breaks your brain I honestly telling you so uh, the reason I'm uh, a little pumped up is that I've been looking at the data uh, for a while and I had to just pivot it a little differently and it looks beautiful so I'm, I'm really um, I'm pleased about my own studies that I'm doing in on the data that we have in for the market everything is available I wish we had some more accurate charts we, I wish we had some uh, some of the charts that actually brought in volume together like I remember uh, from one of my studies that I did on uh, I was reading WD Gann and I saw his chart uh, he was the first person he drew in the three dimensional chart where he actually charts the volume data along with uh, price data and along with uh, time data so once you bring them together and, and the calculations you start to make calculations things uh, make more sense as uh, trying to do studies just on two dimensions uh, just um, uh, just on two variables price and time well time is independent so along X uh, it goes along X axis and price along goes along Y axis so in we can actually start making charts in which uh, volume goes along Z axis that's the why I'm talking about I'm not talking about uh, including volume as, uh, as a separate set I want I'm talking about uh, including volume um, as a part of the larger chart so I hope that uh, we'll be seeing more bearish uh, gold and silver and uh, you guys are well aware of my gold and silver larger analysis if you are not I can repeat it here um, but if you are a regular viewer then you got you're almost you're done with the um, with analysis so let's have a look right over here for all everybody who hasn't seen my previous analysis I can give you a short summary uh, what I'm looking at it so this is what I'm looking at it for silver that we have seen uh, on the drop right over here and I'm considering this as a 5 wave structure 
and three wave structure and a five wave structure and with wave C is going to be an ending diagonal which is diverging so we already have completed wave 1 and 2, wave 3 and 4 and right now we are going through wave A, B and C A is complete, B is complete, I'm expecting this to be a 5 wave structure downward so let me let me make it this way, okay? so this is what we are expecting in terms of gold and silver um, sorry, at least silver, Sil gold is making a different chart alright? so we have completed A and B and we are going through a 5 wave structure of silver uh, going towards 965 10-ish dollars uh, creating a bottom in 2024 is very very important I'm delighted because I have found I was trying to uh, look into crypto for a long long while and I was trying to find different anchor points in the data uh, where I can use uh, clearly uh, to provide Elliott wave analysis and I finally with my own um, study that I was able to crack it, we'll look into it more once again. Let's have a look at silver, the longer time frame analysis. So silver is is different. Uh, I mean, gold is different. We are looking at gold right now. So let's have a look. We can see the pattern right over here. This is the start of the pattern, and this is the first leg and second leg, and we'll see one of the most devastating wave C. We can call it. Uh, blue and we can call it the cycle degree uh, alright so we can call it the cycle degree wave so this is what we are expecting in terms of uh, gold and silver alright so you can see that wave C of gold is going to be absolutely devastating alright it's going to be a five wave structure and it's almost a straight vertical line so that's why a lot of people are not really looking and they say okay this is uh, this is not a good use of Elliott wave analysis this is exactly the way uh, Elliott wave analysis is used if you cannot look at expanded flat let me have a look if we can find the stock market okay well, we can go to the stock market and I want to bring some important uh, points right here e let me save that okay this is the chart I'm talking about okay look at it how beautiful it is start of the pattern with A with B and almost almost vertical line in expanded flat okay what a beauty what a stunning beauty that he is in front of us um, and if you cannot if you cannot make an analysis if you cannot forecast an expanded flat with such deep and accurate um, with almost a vertical dropout you have a lot more to do in Elliott wave analysis you ha if you cannot forecast expanded flat believe me you have a lot more to go through so we'll discuss stock market in our next video um, in our series of crash of everything and I'm working on the chart you probably guys have already seen a glimpse of it but I'll explain the chart and we'll look into it further have a good one and bye bye